for years, I've done science in a lab. I've had samples delivered to me, and even today, most of the analysis I do is from samples that were shipped to the lab and analyzed with some of the world's greatest equipment. However, there are some cases where this could be the lab, where samples that are found in nature or samples that are found on the shelves could be tested there. Now, of course, like this video and the audio, there's gonna be more noise, there's more filtering, there's more things you have to do to clean it up after the fact. However, there's something preserved when you're able to figure out if that sample could be analyzed in place or in situ, or if it should be sent back to the lab. A lot of the thesis work that I performed over the end of my analytical career in grad school was about just this. What can we do with a small portable mass spectrometer? What would we learn if we could analyze the samples in the lab? And again, that data was noisy, but with the use of data science tools and pattern recognition, you can get through most of that noise to still uncover some insights. And in some cases, the samples were in a better condition because they weren't as disturbed. And so now I'm in the process of trying to understand what's possible if you can analyze these samples. What if this is the lab? What could we learn if we tie data collected from this park to data collected in the grocery store or data collected on our health. So here's an example. I've got one tree that looks to have some fungus on it. The data has shown previously that these trees would have a different chemical composition, phytochemistry, due to that fungus, whereas this tree has healthy bark. And so these sorts of ideas, the variation in the nature chemistry, the variation in our health, can all be measured in the place where those samples lie. You know, over the course of the day, the phytochemistry changes. There have been plenty of studies to show that. What happens if we could just monitor this and again, connect that to other data? And so what can you learn about the chemical composition of the tree and the chemical composition of the soil that surrounds it or the other foliage that might be supported by the root structure of that tree? Even as I walk around the park, I see plastic waste that if we could characterize what type of plastic that would be, how much would that improve our recycling ability? Now, I don't think I need an assay to tell me that this might not be safe, but what if you could use the same type of sensor to determine if this was safe drinking water that we used to test the tree or used to test the recycled material? In any case, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.